Welcome to the Entrepreneur Power Hour, where we tell jokes. Leon introduces his family. Hi, Leon's family. Hi, Leon's we family. We have a good time, and we might even learn something. Woohoo! Education can be fun, unlike that there public schooling. So today, <laughs> we're going to talk about eliminating five bad habits that can hurt your productivity. And the interesting thing is, some of these can even kill your business. They can kill your business faster than bad, than bad financial transactions. Now, what are they? Well, let's start with the first one because that one's interesting. Oh yeah? Yes. And I think, and the reason I like this, and I'm gonna say, the reason I like this article is because there's one thing in here I think is real particular to me, and there's one thing in here that's kind of particular to when me and Chris are working. So we're gonna have fun with this, buckle up, especially if you're in a car like Leon and uh, he's not in a car anymore I don't think <laughs> all right so the first one uh, before I, is scheduling too much without giving yourself any breaks so this is an interesting one I used to when I really got into this I used to schedule like I'm gonna have 10 minutes here to do this I'm gonna do this Fiverr gig I'm gonna do the power hour I'm gonna do this 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 and I forgot something important relaxation, chilling out time, time to just have to me. And the first one is scheduling too much so you don't have any spare time. And the way I started, you know, getting away from this is I scheduled what I had to do in the day. And yes, there's specific tasks I have to do at work and I have some time gigs. But in between that, I would say if I don't have anything immediately to do right now, I'm going to chill out in between sessions but that's just me i want to know how you guys deal with it floors open just you got a thought throw it out there everything's welcome yeah just don't throw anything at me leon because i said your mom was attractive anyway oh, um <laughs> <laughs> that's how i am deal with it uh, you um, it. <laughs> okay so well i know that when i've got stuff to do for the show or you know we're out there meeting new people or I'm making a video or we're doing some editing or we're the list never ends I know that I can't plan too much at once or I get overwhelmed and I feel anxious because I'm like well I gotta get that do I really want to get that done or I really want to get this done and I really want to get this done and I really want to get this done so what I do is I plan five things each day and they're all different uh, I have an app on my phone I use called AnyDo. If you guys don't have it, go get it. It's incredible. And you can plan your day out, and you can even time it to set reminders as to when you're supposed to be moving on to the next app. But I think it's important to remember that if even if you don't get everything done, make sure you get at least 75% of what you plan to do finished because that's that's successful living one goal at a time one task at a time that's all it takes to have a successful day if you're getting the stuff done that you want to get done or 95% of it 75% whatever you can feel good at the end of the day um, I think it's important to remember that if you want to master the habit of procrastinating do the thing you don't want to do the most first because when you get rid of the thing you really don't want to do and you get that done, the rest of the day is easy. Um, for me, it's been, it's been reading. I haven't particularly enjoyed reading until I started getting into all these books I've been reading. So the first thing I start my day off with when I have my breakfast is my books. Like I'll have a, the book I'm reading right now, No Excuse, uh, by Jay Riffenberry. That is what I do first thing in the morning. It gets my brain going, it gets my creativity flowing, along with a healthy breakfast. Cannot stress that enough. Very important to eat right early in the morning. And that helps me keep the juice flowing throughout the rest of the day. As I'm working, I listen to personal development stuff that I have on my phone. And it, it helps keep me motivated and have lots of energy throughout the day. So that, that's what I say. I like it. I think Jay Riffenberry is also a really good guitarist, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Tom's well, here. Cool. Tom Clark. But yeah, definitely the way Hello. I Tom. Oh, and John's here. John Calora made it tonight. Awesome. Woo! Our, one of our first clients. Very Jeez. exciting. This is, this is going to be exciting. I'm pumped up. It is. So I basically, am. it comes down to this. 
I'm working with Josh on something. I have Fiverr. I, I have entrepreneur stuff. I have even some other stuff I'm doing with my friend Isaac. And that's going to tie into number two. But what I have to do is schedule that out with the tasks my boss wants me to do and going to the gym. But I need to leave pockets in there where I can goof off, where I can just sit there and chill. Or I don't really watch TV, but play a video game or do whatever. Because if you schedule every second of the day, eventually what's going to happen is you're going to feel like, oh, I'm so tired. I just need a little bit of time to think and relax. And it's easy to fall into that, but I'm sure you guys all have busy schedules. I want to know how you schedule around to make sure that you have fun time and you also get stuff done. All work and no play. No. Yeah, I just, uh, this past week has been phenomenal because my daughter's been home and we haven't seen her in five years, so, uh, for that reason alone, it's been a change of pace, but when you get up and you just keep putting up a, a blog or... It's not that you don't have writer's block. You just can't make yourself sit down and put anything on the on paper. You can't put anything in text. It seems too much like work. And you don't enjoy it. And then it's, it's a challenge just to make yourself do anything. Yeah, I mean, I think that if you if you really really want to maximize productivity, just do what you don't want to do first because it makes everything else easier. I stressed that before. I I totally agree. Now I saw Kareem, his mouth was moving, but I didn't have any audio. No, I I, I was just saying like I agree, but I was muted. But really, and another thing I want to add into that first point is if you. Think not a thing too long you'll never do like when I talk to Josh with what I'm doing I just send out messages I don't think about it too much because if you sit there and think it'll about like oh what do I have to do what do I have to do what do I have to do it'll take too long so what you just have to do is you have to schedule stuff and then don't think about it just bang it out when I have five or gigs I just get in front of the camera and talk I don't have I don't try and premeditate when I come on the power hour I know the points and I get on and I do my thing and that's one of the ways that I can have free time is because when it's business mode it's business mode and I'm like Woo! and when I'm having fun then I am super goofy I drive people nuts <laughs> <laughs> well I wouldn't say you drive me nuts but it can get a little annoying <laughs> gotta have no, gotta I'm have fun kidding now. I'm kidding I'm kidding man yeah, definitely very important to keep your leisure time and your work time equal. Um, I know that I really enjoy, if after a long hard day, I enjoy going for a walk or, you know, watching something on Crave TV for like an hour. I don't spend a, a lot of time playing my, my consoles or, or watching shows because I'm so excited that I finally have my own company. And Kareem and I have worked our asses off with all of your guys' help and, and you guys coming on the panel each week and I want to make you have this the best it can be I want I'm constantly want to be improving what we do here and what people take away from this so th this is what I enjoy doing so this isn't really like work yeah I can get tedious at times yes I can get frustrated because I, I struggle with being patient things like that but I know that my work's going to pay off, and I know that we're providing value to all of you guys, and that's what really keeps me motivated, is that so many people are counting on us. There's so many people that are going to be checking us out, seeing what we're doing, what we're about, how we can help them. So I need to be constantly improving myself and, and the skills that, that, we're, that we're specializing in so that we can provide top quality service to everybody. Um, and I think that's the only way to live a successful life is to constantly be improving yourself. So that's my two cents. Anyone else jump in? There's yeah, 12 I people think here. That's a good point. I mean, having your time for your set, set apart time. For me, it's a, like a constant struggle because uh, most of the time I will have to uh, review every month where I'm at with my commitments. 
and where the commitment lies, and then where does the where does the where does the space uh, fit in with all the other um, you know commitments? Like family commitment is huge for me because if uh, you're not happy in your family, you're not going to be happy in your job. That's the bottom line. Um, so the only way you can keep that a balance is, is that you've got to be able to go back and forth. Um, with communication, that's the biggest, most important part. Like, it's nice to have a calendar, and it's great to have priorities, but if you're not an open communicator, you can't, sorry, I, I know I'm probably talking uh, in a certain way about this, but well, that's fine. I have experiences recently about this. Communication is vital, and, and if you don't have open communication that uh, is clearly setting your boundaries and clearly setting your expectations, you will be a, a, a frustrated person and your joy level won't be as high as it could be so that's that is a very important uh, aspect to uh, not just running a business but to uh, keeping your family ab abreast in the sense of where you're at uh, you know for me spiritually mentally and uh, uh, overall relationally thanks Tom appreciate that <laughs>